<clears throat> Welcome to Soulful. My name is Nakia. I'm Toya. And I'm LaToya. And this week we are having a thoughtful conversation with Miss Makia Johnson, the human genius. So <laughs> what were you all working on this week, Toya? Well, my husband came home, so I can't remember. I'm just glad my husband came home. Even if it's for a day, I'll take it. <laughs> good, good. Oh, yeah. I have been working on um, uh, proposals for clients and negotiating contracts this week. Cool. I have been I... working on preparing for a mentorship that I'm starting on Monday and preparing for my husband to come home. So that's Yay. wonderful. My kid, what you been working on? Um... <laughs> apps <laughs> <laughs> the human genius i know yeah. that's right who says they're working on apps lord uh, only her yes. only her okay so what is the definition of thought what is a thought i don't even know what a, i haven't even heard that probably up until i don't know about nine months ago really? thought? yeah i'm like what is a is thought that it's a a whore. That whore over there. That, that whore, over there. whore over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. over there. It describes a lady that may have some promiscuous tendencies. She may dress a certain way, act a certain way, carry herself a certain way, might throw herself out there a little bit. So in a hoish way, is that what that means? In a high level flirtatious way. Okay. Hello, flirtatious way. Okay, I like that. Very promiscuous. Okay. Thought to be very promiscuous by how she looks. Right, by or... how she looks. Her her outward exterior would make her more susceptible to um, male attention, although mm -hmm. not necessarily warranted. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's get into this conversation. What what was the what was the the track y'all were going for? So here's what I feel, um, you know, some people just like dressing that way. They, they feel, you know, I, I think about Dolly Parton, you know what I'm saying? I think Dolly Parton, I, I really respect her. I love her music. I feel like she is just, I think she's a genius in her field, but it behooved her to want to look like the, um, the local tramp of, of her, her area. She wanted to get her boobs and enhance. Oh, so they're enhanced? I didn't know they were yeah. Oh yes. I saw. I thought they were natural. Yeah, no. So she's she's you know got definitely her face and her her boobs and you know she started wearing big wigs and stuff like that. And she wants she thought that the local whatever lady was beautiful. She loved the way she looked and so she wanted to look that way. Hmm, and so yeah, so I just and I just feel like people are kind of hard on people by the way they they want to express themselves physically. I mean, what do y'all think? Um, I think with the way the music culture goes right now, that, that could be possible. Um, I know me myself, I am big chested. And so when I want attention, I wear halter tops because that's, that's my asset. So I want to show it off, but I don't think it's in a thoughtful way or a hoish way. I, I know I can carry these boobs. <laughs> I know what comes with these boobs and I know you ain't gonna bother me. So... <laughs> So I don't consider it to be thoughtful when I dress that way. But when I do go to a club or am going to a certain type of function, house party, something like that, you trap house, all that, it, it's going to be a certain type of dress. I am not a fan of the thought wear. <laughs> I, I don't see the point in having to do all that. I mean, I big chested, big old booty, they get their attention all on their own. I don't have to enhance that. And it's not warranted attention most of the time. But then again, that could be just me because I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. I don't want the attention of, you know, a guy saying, damn, what's, 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 don't talk to me. Stop talking to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but that could just be me. I just don't feel like you got to do all that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should wear something that's going to necessarily put you on a on a on a radar of something unladylike mm -hmm. um well, 
But what's ladylike? Because to me, yeah, I what's ladylike? Being unladylike lady -like. when I dress that way. I think I'm being me. I mean, it's just another alter ego of me. Mm, I mean, there's so alter good. ego of wanting to have fun, and then there's the all business. But then that's the thing, like certain things you put on will warrant a different type of conversation. That is true. But, but it's not fair I, though. I feel it, it's not fair, but you have no. to be able to maneuver that conversation. I mean, yes, I may have on a halter top and I may have big boobs, but you are gonna look here. Uh, I don't know about that. that. I don't know about that. You can't control that. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't your eyes. And, and here's my here's my issue, y'all. Like a lot of y'all are voluptuous in whatever ways, you know what I'm saying? Big boobs, big butt, whatever. And um, I don't think it's fair. Like you have to be so conscious about how you dress because somebody who's smaller, they can wear the same exact outfit and it's not a big deal. It's just because you My concern is the the predatory part of it. That's my concern because although yes, men there are people that should control themselves but then you shouldn't put it on display it's like dangling dangling something in front of you know a predator you don't walk into a lion cage smelling like meat and don't think you're gonna get bit that lion is being a lion so if you're walking into you know a predominantly male scene and you look quite delicious then don't get mad when something might happen like them approaching you or somebody trying to reach out and grab you back in the day when I mean, what, about, what about the concept of is what about the concept of women just <clears throat> looking good for themselves and the fact that most women dress those ways not to really impress men men are they can see that a dime a dozen but they actually do it for the next female women are technically in competition they like the dress it's, it's the thing so like i can wear a certain dress my home girl can wear a certain dress we look good going out together there's another group of women that look good and their their outfit and their selective choices and it has little or nothing to do with the men and themselves it has more or less like we're the we're the cutest thing at the party today and i got this outfit and i got it's more of a a, a, a fashionable statement and it's like these chicks are making their fashionable statement we're making our fashionable statement so there's that concept too like where me and my girls we go out it, it has very little to do to attract a male at all it's just like oh look at what they got on oh look at what she got on girl where you got those from and it's just cute <laughs> and it's like your body look good in this my body look good in that and it's just if, if I feel like I look good in this outfit, I'm going to wear it. It's like <laughs> I saw it on a rack, you know, um, Fashion Nova let out this new dress. I like the sequence. I like the color. I always, I like how it hugs me. I like my body, you know, so I'm going to put it on and, and I'm going to walk out the door and the next chick is going to say, oh, that looks awesome on you. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. So it has, sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with the male. Well, I guess I can't relate to that because I I dress for comfort, not fashion. I, I will buy something that is more comfortable rather than don't give a gift if it's fashionable, name brand or nothing. If it fits and it's comfortable, I'll wear it. But I guess me being being who I am, I'm mostly in my own bubble if I am out the door anyway. And on the rare occasion I do go outside, I ain't paying nobody else no attention, no way. So somebody be like, Oh, you saw she had a who? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in my own bubble. I'm usually, right. you know, just on a one track mind, but I guess that. And that's I went. Me, me and my introvertness. Right. I went to a school that was considered the fashion show school um, of my town. And mm -hmm. so I was um, used to dressing a certain type of way. And I'm used to dressing for occasions. I dress because this is what I want to wear to work. I dress because this is what I want to wear when I'm casual. But this is what I want to wear when I'm going out. So I don't dress for other people. I don't even think about them. I'm I'm thinking about the occasion. I'm going to work, so I need to look this way. Yeah, that's that's the common. I guess I guess that's a common conception too. But like I know for me, like if we going to, if I'm invited to a gala, I'm going to try to stop the room. If I'm going to a ball, I'm going to try to stop the room. You know, you want that's that. Like as people who are passionate about fashion in any kind of way, your goal is usually to stop the room. Like it's not necessarily the male. It's just like 
wow, like she did that tonight. <laughs> she so, did that. <laughs> I have a question. And when you're wearing your thoughtful apparel, do you find that men are more touchy grabby? Do you have problems with people trying to, you know, try you? That's the attitude of the woman. Mm, I think so too, because I've never had anyone try and touch me before. Yeah. My permission. Wow. You haven't? No. You too? And I'm the same person who doesn't get five million free requests like y'all do. <laughs> They don't mess with me. No, no, but I'm just talking about I can definitely remember going in the club and stuff and just, you know, just get touched and out hit. Clubs. Yeah, I, I mean, literally gotten put out clubs on some fights. And, Did you just touch me? Nigga? Exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely remember. That's why I don't do them scenes. Like, you it's just touch me. Yeah, that's like, why I don't, I don't do them either because I'm but like... But y'all have a look, like a... Y'all have those friendly looks in the face too, though. So it's what? like... I have a, yeah, it's a it's a thing because like it's women who would put on like honestly like and I hate to say it like but like okay let's say Rihanna you know she likes to wear her thought clothes right mm -hmm. but you can see from her stance and her demeanor that you're just even if you're a, a guy that's predatory and want to touch you can see from her demeanor that it's not gonna go well like just her mm -hmm. she can have on absolutely almost nothing but you can tell by her demeanor that you're probably going to get a fight out of her or it's going to be something so the approach is totally different and so a woman can put on practically anything she want but if your demeanor says approachable they're gonna you can okay. you can have on clothes if your demeanor says approachable they're going to approach you but if so, your demeanor so says i got this on but you better not try it they're not going to try it. They're going to try a different way. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how are you doing today? Beautiful. <laughs> you can be half naked. Yeah. How you so doing? We, so we done got church because we nice toys. I mean, I can't remember walking out of the club, whatever. It's like, wait, wait don't t who just touched me? You know, that type of thing, like a fight. Like, who just touched me? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I ain't Jesus. I said, I don't, don't be taking my virtue. Dang. Literally. But then, and the whole thing is, then I, I have to check myself because back then yes i did wear stuff i probably ain't had no business wearing and so i'm like so i can't be mad that it caught the attention that i that i that i caught because i was dressed that way so if you don't want the attention why dress that way which when you change when i change my dress i don't have no problems but then again i don't go to the club like that but back when i did as soon as i changed my attire i did not get bothered but I don't know. To each his own on their experience. I just don't feel it is necessary. I, but then again, like you said, it, it might not be for the men, and even, you know, for the for the women. Like I don't care. I'm I'm sitting in the beauty industry every day. I I do things that I think enhance my beauty, but I'm not going to go all all. I don't need to do all that. Mm -hmm. At least I don't feel I need to do all that. Right. Yeah, because I don't wear makeup, so. It's the love of the art. I'm in South Florida. That's the art of it. <laughs> yeah. It's the art. It's the love of the art. Like, we yeah, have I hear that. districts. We have, we have just, just between your home and, you know, a mall setting. Just, just between that, you, you run into a ton of people. Um, all the major events happen. So it's like, and then those, those random photo ops that you get in, even if you don't want to be in it. <laughs> you don't want to be caught slipping. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, it's not like, oh, look at such and such. Oh, we, we caught it in the club. And they had, like, if um, all the major events down here, they always taking pictures. And some of those people get caught in the <laughs> worst ways. <laughs> and... You know, even the, the but it, it has like this whole, like, it depends on the scene, but the sex appeal and, oh, we all ladies, we all the, the, the handsome dudes, and it just draws the events even bigger. So I guess, like, growing up in this culture here, like, it's, it's what it is. But then again, why is that the culture? Because, I mean, we already are over-sexualized as women. Like, why do we add to the pot? Why? I think I like it. I like the fact that I'm set. I'm. I know I'm more sexually liberated than a lot of women, so mm -hmm. I could care less. You know, like the fact that I could be the aggressor. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean the dude has to approach me. I can approach the dude. I right. could be aggressive, and so with that being said, like to me, I I dress however I feel, and 
I like lace. I like onesies. I like bustiers. I like mini skirts. I like Daisy Duke shorts, especially going to the beach, a hot day in Florida, put my sandals on, skinny. I love it. And it's not even about the attention from the males, but it's just like, I could look down at my body and say, well, I wore this and <laughs> took a picture like, oh, I remember when I used to look good in this and I used to be able to wear that with my stilettos. It's just, it's, it makes me extra happy when I put on my, I like, I look just as good in my sweatpants now because my way my shape is. So I'm gonna look just as good in sweatpants and a tee. But when I put on that dress, that's like, bring it all out. And it's like, wow, I really was able to put on that little sequence dress. <laughs> like sometimes you just sit on the rack and it's like, oh, I can get in that sequence dress. Oh, I'm look good. <laughs> You sometimes get, I get stuck in the mirror just looking at myself like, damn, I did that. <laughs> Yo, and, and being from South Florida, um, I think the human physique is beautiful, whether it's male or female. I think they're both beautiful. I love to see people dressed in all kinds of different ways, you know, whatever makes you feel good and comfortable. I'm, I'm with Toya. I, I just, I've experienced um, just, I don't like to be touched and all that kind of stuff. And just from my personal, personal experience, I feel comfortable not wearing things that are tight and all that because because of my experience. Um, but I loved, I love that my Kia dresses the way she does. I love looking at her pictures. I love looking at all that stuff. You know, in South Florida, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful body situation. You know, everybody's, you know, everybody uh, works out and everybody looks good. And so I enjoy it. And I don't um, think you should change that. I don't think we should ever succumb to what people or what society feels. Make, make, we're not trying to make nobody else comfortable. I agree that, um, I love that she said that she dresses for her. Her and her girls dress for, you know, to look good, look, look the best out of everybody. I never even thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never even thought about that. But, um, you know, but I like the look. I don't want to, I can't, I can't dress like that because I don't like the attention for myself. But my kid, if you had daughters, would you want them to dress that way? I want to dress however they express themselves. I look at, <laughs> like it's things I can't wear, for example, some things that Rihanna wear, the way her body is, I wouldn't put myself in there like that whole see-through mm -hmm. dress or whatever with the speckles. But if you got the body to pull it off, mm -hmm. and if I had a daughter and she had the body to put it off, wear it. And I can show you respect because like Toya know too, I don't like to be touched. I don't even like to be approached. But my demeanor, my the, I can dress like that and my, de my demeanor will make a dude like, they wouldn't even really just walk up on me like they're like wait hey little mama like they gonna come but it's like they're not gonna just reach out and touch me so like you can have I could teach you know even my younger cousins I teach them like wear whatever you want that's your expression whatever but it's your demeanor it's how you carry yourself so hmm. my daughters if I had daughters they would probably be the same way like just if they look like they can't handle it then I'd be like look don't wear that because you can't handle it but if you can handle it and wear it. <laughs> you like it. You want to look back on yourself 40 years from now and be like, look at how I used to wear this back in the day. And this was the fashion. But that's a, that's another thing we do in our family. <laughs> like my mom and, and Toya see like my mom is like that. She's her recent photo shoot was I it, loved it. Like, Beautiful. It blew me out the park. Like her yeah. recent photo shoot. I wouldn't even do a photo shoot like that, but my mom pulled it off. And I'm like, I'm like one day <laughs> we're gonna look back on this and be like, look how beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful, yeah. but it was very high sexually based, yeah. very sexually based. And my mom's like almost 50 years old. She's 48 this week, <laughs> um, on the 31st. And I'm just like, I, when I get that age, I really hope I could pull off a photo shoot like, you know, <laughs> but she can do it. I don't have them kind of balls yet. Right. <laughs> um, and I think I guess I, my mind says just I'm just just listen to y'all talk. Just remember that like the like our bodies are beautiful and we can adorn them however we want to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, and but I just that's also something for me to think about. Like my, my, my too nice is that why I got? But no, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, our bodies are beautiful and. Like, I like liberation. Like, do you, do you. Well, just look at like, if it wasn't for the serpent and the gardener, <laughs> eat if we'll all be walking around naked. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have been walking around naked, naked. and thought nothing of it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Well, you know, that, that does bring up the thought that maybe we shouldn't be so 
closed minded because that that could have been our reality. <laughs> Definitely could have been our reality, but thank you, Jesus, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, because some bodies, I went to, the, I go to the new beach once every few years, and mm -hmm. some of those bodies, I wish they would put clothes on. You it's just older. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have, and we wouldn't have looked at bodies that way. It wouldn't have been a sexual. Yeah, it thing. wouldn't have been that. But I'm just saying, I go there, I'm thank God, like, oof. Yeah, thank God for clothes, because boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree like with the new beaches that the more the more that you see nakedness it don't be uh, all overly sexual it's natural like right that's something that's, that's really prevalent in my family my mother always walked around with no clothes on so when yeah. I was growing up it was never anything that was taboo or off topic or I mean sex was always talked about your body was always talked about so I never really had a problem with wearing a two-piece or or wearing whatever I wanted to wear, but I still never had the, the, the interactions that you guys had with people touching me. Well, what happened to like modesty? <laughs> what is modesty? What's the, how do you define modesty? I mean, being modest in your dress as in not being on display for everybody. Like, Certain parts of me, I would like that to remain a mystery for the people that should see it, which would be my man, you know? So I, I just don't, I don't see somebody. Finding the true person, if you were on display the whole time, like, oh, everybody doesn't see. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I don't, I don't like Sanity. that idea. I don't like that idea of of someone being able to say, "Oh, yeah, I, I seen her." That's that's nothing. So here's um, yeah, that's a good point to bring up. For me, I don't know what modesty looks like outside of the realms of like biblical teachings, but biblically, modesty is not defined really how how we're supposed to be dressed, right? It's not it's not clearly yeah. defined. It's not. It's I, yeah, not for not. me. So it's for me, I think the way I deal with that, I, I'm so glad you brought that up. I really asked the spirit, like, how should I dress? Like, what should I wear? Like, I, I could be in, I don't know, Jason Penny somewhere getting clothes. Like, okay, God, is this cool? You know what I'm saying? So that that's one way that I, I deal with how I should dress. You know, I think it's individuals. So it's different Mod for everybody. Yeah, modesty is a behavior because there's a lot mm -hmm. of poorish. I'm telling you. Skirts, modest women skirt. that have plenty of clothes on. Girls pass your knees and just like they them let be open, <laughs> be wide open, and, and and you can see the sex dripping right underneath they they sweater and they blazer and they, you can see it. Modesty is the behavior. That's it good. Really is. That's good. I know what we call them as corporate whores. Corporate whores, they exist and you see it. Okay. Their behavior. I'm open. I'm available to touch. You know. <laughs> I've worked, I've worked with them, so I, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, corporate whores, they exist, and um, they may not dress like it, but everything in their essence, I can look at you and tell you, you, you get dicked down pretty often by multiple different dudes, by how you just walk around and carry yourself. <laughs> Man, so it's a mindset, modesty is a mindset. It yeah, it must be, has to be a mindset because I've had a promiscuous time and, and I don't think anybody could have said, yeah, I know what you've been doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. some really innocent looking women that do the most. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and do the most. And there's a lot of half-naked women that don't. We faithful, loyal, right now, like, oh yeah, she looks like that. Like, like Beyonce walk around half-naked in the most, you know, she don't even have a scandal of a an affair with a male, and it, it's it's not even frowned upon. Like she <laughs> walk around with onesies on, tight dresses, everything. But everybody knows she's devoted to her husband, and that's that. Yeah. And but then there's women who look devoted and look like they don't. They're not about their life. And turns out they out here, you know. <laughs> that's a good point. That is really a good point. Hmm. So to dress thoughtfulish or not? I don't know. Mommy's in a live. Give me a second, okay? And and like Makia said, to answer that question, it's a it's a mindset. 
of what you want to, what is your purpose? If you want to be saying, I look good and that's all your purpose is, then dress how you want to dress. I mean, is that thoughtful to you? And other people's don't matter, other people's opinion don't matter. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So any last words? Any last thoughts? Akia Johnson. <laughs> well, however you want to express yourself. <laughs> Do it. Do what's best for you. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it's just an individualized thing. Like we I don't think any Christian should be this way or you know, it's just it's very individualized. Whatever's best for you. And yours, that's, that's what you do. That's what you do. I think, I think Mikea made perfect example of, you know, you can go to a club and you can be dressed very innocently, but the way that you are behaving, if you had a drink, <laughs> especially if you had a drink and you are looking for attention, you can be dressed the simplest and you will get that attention just because of the the energy you're exuding. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. Yeah. Cause I mean I go with my cousin all the time and she dressed way more risque than, than I do. And I will literally sit at a table in some jeans and a t shirt and get more attention than she gets and I don't understand why. I'm sitting there minding my business. I ain't even thinking about nobody. So it So in in my in my experience like it's like like those sneak like they'll sneak and grab and stuff like that's the kind of stuff that, that I, like what who just touched me that kind of stuff you know that ain't cool man. So what I, you I don't, have on Toya? I had on a regular dress like I mean nothing so cute or nothing just I'm mean, I had like a, this cotton dress on it was the arms were cut like out it was just, I mean because you do have a figure I mean I mean it, it just this regular old dress I mean I don't know child. That don't mean nobody touch you. Like I wouldn't no, ask for nothing. It doesn't you know what I'm Yeah, so I just don't go to the club. That's how I deal with that. <laughs> they will, they will, they will to touch you. They will grab your butt in a pair of jeans. Remember, Jean yeah. wanted a whole song about yeah. in those jeans. It don't, yeah. it don't I, matter. <laughs> I don't play them games, homie. I ain't with that. I, I'm yeah. a, I'm not a fighter and stuff, but don't touch me, homie. Don't touch me. I just stay at the club. <laughs> Shoot. Well, well, we thank you for a thoughtful conversation. It was actually insightful. I didn't, I learned some stuff, Kia. So I really appreciate, you know, what you brought to the table. Um, also, um, you know, want to say that for those of y'all that look at people that they're they're over sexualized or dumb or whatever because of what they got on, this chick right here, like she literally is the human genius, and she dresses however she dresses. I don't know, but the, my Kia is so intelligent. One of the most brightest sisters I've ever met in my entire life. So please just don't judge nobody. Don't judge a book by the cover. That's, that's what I want people to not do. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our social channel. Meet us here next week, four o'clock on Tuesday. See you then. See you later. Bye.